I'm Charles Peak, and I'm the storm tracker and field reporter for the Weather Channel. In 2024, I've already covered over 70,000 miles covering different kinds of weather events, with a couple being unique this year. One of the most memorable events for 2024 for me was the great American solar eclipse. Oh my gosh, look, it's a flare. Oh, that's cool. That morning I got up and I was concerned about cloud cover, so my job was to be mobile and to move where we would have clear skies to be able to see the eclipse along the path. Oh! So I ended up in Hardy, Arkansas. Cool. Look at the flare. The flare. It was neat to have my family there with me and to experience this and to hear the, the squeals from my grandkids as they were seeing the eclipse and the excitement as all this was happening. Another exciting event, which was a little different, was the Aurora Borealis. I set up two different cameras for some time lapse that we were able to capture this and just be out there with my wife and to be able to experience something this incredible in these beautiful lights. It is just something that is a once in a lifetime experience for many. The events while covering Hurricane Milton in Florida were very memorable as well. As landfall was happening that evening, I was there in the Tampa Bay area near the airport and we had winds as high as 96 miles an hour with trees coming down, power lines down, flooding. So it was a, a tough situation even though the storm had gone just a little to the south there. And then they called and asked me to go across the state over to the Fort Pierce, Florida area as I was standing there talking to one of the people that had been impacted, he asked me, he says, could you do me a favor? We had talked about that he was a veteran and I was a veteran and he said, would you get my flag in there? It was a special moment for me to know that I was able to be able to help this veteran by getting his flag back up. 2024 was a very active year with tornadoes and one of the most memorable for me was the Iowa day that culminated in Greenfield, Iowa. I started today moving into southwest Iowa and then close to Red Oak. We had the first tornado of the day. I was able to have that live on the Weather Channel and we captured that. And then another cell was moving up as I was moving east and you could see just the rain wrap. Charles Peak live view. Again, you got a look at a tornado there in Montgomery County and then continued to the northeast some, and we came across a wind turbine field, and, and many of these wind turbines had been knocked over and blown down partially by this strong tornado, even one of them catching fire. It made for a very memorable experience for me, reminding me the kind of power that these tornadoes can have. Hurricane Helene's impact on North Carolina was incredible, and the people I met and the stories I heard were definitely unforgettable. Well, this is one of the homes of uh, one of the deputies here at the Yancey County Sheriff's Office. Rode around with the sheriff in Yancey County, North Carolina. We had to use a four by four to be able to get around because the roads were still destroyed. Just the heartbreak that you see and the devastation that you can have from the power of the water in areas that one lady I talked to that was 92 years old, she'd lived in that house for 70 years, and the water from that river had never got anywhere close to her house, but yet it got completely washed away. 2024 was a very active year, and definitely not a year to easily forget.